Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the notion of an ASEAN visa. I've done a number of videos on this recently and in the past, talking about the notion of an ASEAN visa. So the ASEAN stands for Association of Southeast Asian Nations. It's not really akin to the EU, but it's, it's a grouping down here in Southeast Asia. And there's some economic integration, but for the most part, it's pretty loose. And there's been a lot of discussion, discussion here recently, especially in the context of European immigration for Thais, where they're looking to create something akin to like a, a multi-country visa to allow entry to multiple countries here in this region, sort of in exchange for allowing, at least narrowly pertaining to the Thais, for allowing... Thai access to the Schengen area in Europe. That said, I thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Patia Mail. That's patiamail.com. Article is titled, Common Visa Policy for Thailand and Her Neighbors, A Distant Dream. Quoting directly, Yet the prospect of a pan-Southeast Asian zone is not remotely on the horizon. Visa rules in the six countries are very diverse. Tourist entry to Thailand is mostly free, although whether an individual receives 15 or 30 or 90 days depends on his passport country. Russia and South Korea are at the top end. Cambodia, by contrast, charges nearly everybody between 30 and 40 U.S. dollars for, for a flat 30 days, either on arrival or via e-visa. Vietnam is a complex mixture of fee-based and no-payment entry, which appears to change on a regular basis. Some ASEAN partners allow Chinese and Indian nationals easy entry, whilst others require pre-flight approval and a hefty fee. So, yeah, look, I mean... I think the notion of a pan-ASEAN visa is probably pretty far off. I, I would tend to agree with that article. It's pretty far down the road. What I was more likely thinking could happen was some kind of pass-type system between, especially Thailand and me, uh, excuse me, and Malaysia, because you know both of those countries, they're kind of the cornerstones of ASEAN to begin with. I think it was them, the Philippines, and Indonesia that founded it, or maybe Singapore and the Philippines founded it, and Indonesia entered shortly thereafter. In any event, you know, peninsular Southeast Asia between Malaysia and Thailand, you know, that has always, you know, that this is, these two countries vis-a-vis -vis the West have kind of the most open relationship, if you will, between them and, and in terms of visa and passport, excuse me, in terms of visa and immigration policy. Now, that being said, Again, any kind of, I, I think this, this article is pretty spot on that any kind of, in, of integration would require some pretty monumental efforts because local immigration offices pretty zealously guard their prerogatives regarding immigration and regarding visa issuance. And let's also keep in mind that there is a fee element, there's a money element where, you know, there's collection of visa fees, although... A lot, of, a lot of Thailand is now, or a lot of the folks that would like to come to Thailand, those nationalities are now allowed in visa-free. But again, and the thing to take away from this video is it is a very, very patchwork web of different visa rules and different immigration prerogatives throughout ASEAN. So I wouldn't expect an ASEAN-wide visa anytime in the particularly near future.